Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a really easy and simple vegetable broth. This is so simple to make. Look at the coloring, it's beautiful. And I just love it. It freezes wonderful, it's simple. I adore this recipe. Also, it's packed full of flavor, which a lot of vegetable stocks or broths lack in that. And this is just really a nice balance. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe video. Check out the description box down below for all of the measurements and a link to our website, which I will post also this recipe and have a printable PDF for you guys to print at home. I know you guys are gonna like this one, so enjoy. In a very large pot, go ahead and add your water. So this is the largest pot I own. And I will have the measurements for everything in the description box of this video and on our website. So that's 10 cups of water. In goes some celery and carrots, and I like to put this in anytime I do a vegetable broth. And then also I keep scraps of any other vegetables that maybe aren't as beautiful or are kind of on the end side of using. And so this is what this is. This is two cups of just miscellaneous vegetables that I kind of keep in our fridge just for whenever I want to make our stock. So in goes that, and I change up the vegetables I use for that all the time depending on what I have. And I also cut up one large onion, and I usually only buy red onions, so that's what I have. And you can even leave the skins on for this, and go ahead and put it in. So I just loosely chop it and throw it in. You really want the vegetable broth to be this beautiful, rich color that it ends up being, and this is kind of my ticket doing it this way. And then I like to season our vegetable stock. You can keep it really plain and not do this, but in go some seasonings as well. I have some thyme, rosemary. Um, I also have some parsley in here, a bay leaf. And I find that this is just a really nice mixture of all the flavors. So again, I, I like to also add some black pepper. And you can play around with the seasonings to your vegetable stock. Get, get creative with it, depending on what you're gonna use it for. But this is usually just my regular go-to. All right, that's pretty much it. It's like the fastest recipe ever. <laughs> you're just gonna stir everything together and then you're gonna bring everything to a boil and let simmer for 20 minutes. It's that easy. And then I just let everything kind of sit in there too while it cools down after, um, after it's done. It just kind of lets it get even darker in color. And I like a really strong broth, so I just let it, let it steep kind of in those vegetables and it just ends up being the easiest and most beautiful thing. I love it. So you can see it's very pretty already. Again, just bring it up to a simmer and then I just let it simmer for quite some time, around 20 minutes, half an hour. I kind of go and do some other stuff while I'm forgetting about it. And then I just let it cool down and then I will discard or scoop out all those vegetables, drain the liquid, and that's what I use for my vegetable broth. It's super simple. And then you guys can see here how beautiful the coloring gets. And also, after it's cooled down, you can add some miso if you want. That's optional. Um, if you're looking for it to be have a little bit of sodium to it or leave it out. Again, we added some black pepper to it, but you can kind of tweak it to whatever spices that you like and that fit you best. I actually like just having this in a cup of like vegetable soup. It's just the broth is just so delicious and hydrating and wonderful so I actually like to keep it where I store it in a little mason jar for when I'm gonna have it just as like a little vegetable broth soup and then the other part I'll use it for any recipes that have vegetable broth and then I like to take the last amount and put it in an ice cube tray and freeze it and this is actually such a great idea uh, my friend Linda Jones gave me this idea so if she's watching this little shout out to her and you just freeze them as ice cubes and then anytime you want to saute anything without oil you pop out one ice cube and there you have it you can just throw it into your hot pan and it will you can replace it like oil so i actually love doing this hack and anytime i do it i try to always have it on hand so again i kind of split it up however you want it freezes great you can keep it in your refrigerator use it for anything that you need vegetable broth and it's so simple Thank you so much for watching. I know you guys are gonna adore this recipe video, so make sure you check out all the measurements down below on our website, 
and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any whole food plant-based recipes. I make them several times a week, all SOS free, and I'd love to have you as part of our community. So give this video a thumbs up, leave us a comment. Oh, and wish my husband a happy birthday. Today is his 31st birthday, so I'm gonna post an adorable photo of him here. Um, he is the other part of the Drudy family you guys may not see a lot uh, because he likes to be more behind the scenes, but wish him a happy birthday in the comments below. We're gonna go celebrate tonight, and so I'm really excited for you guys to try this, and, and I gotta go celebrate a birthday. So I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.